Hi there guys, and hello in particular to YouTube user Zombie Food 2 as this is a entry into your contest mate and um, yeah, thanks for holding a contest for us all uh, really nice of you to do that and well done on your 200 plus subs uh, so yeah, Zombie Food 2 um, it's funny because I never even noticed the B missing from your username before until you mentioned it whenever I've said your username in my head I've always pronounced it Zombie Fud 2 but uh, yeah, I've never noticed that B missing before but anyway, thanks for clarifying that uh, but anyway, like I said, an entry into your contest, and in order, for, or in order for us to um, enter, you've asked us to give um, our personal favourite release from the last six to eight months, and I've picked up some decent stuff over the last yeah last six months, um, mostly Arrow, of course, um, Arrow releases. You know, they've really taken off this year. And I tend not to buy anything from the mainstream um, studios on the day of release. I always wait for those to hit the sales so I can get them at a better price. But um, companies like Arrow or Shameless, you know, independent labels, their titles never hit the sales. So I tend to snap them up as soon as they get released. Because if anything, they go up in price as time goes on. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I think my personal favourite... Um, would have to be the releases of pieces from Arrow. Um, it's a film I've been waiting for, for a better release to hit the UK for a while. And really pleased that Arrow um, decided to release it over here in a better, better um, picture quality. Because the release I had before was really bad. But it was still watchable, but the uh, picture has been cleaned up on this one a lot better. And it's in widescreen. But, um, you know, picture quality is not perfect, though. You know, considering the film it is, you know, it's not going to clean up very well anyway. And, um, but it's a million miles better than what I had before. And, yep, decent special features on it as well. You get a, a nice little wind of view with, um, Jack Taylor, who played the uh, professor in the film, and one of the many suspects. And he goes into detail about his experiences of Spanish cinema and his personal recollections of the film, shooting it. Um, it's interesting, he's never actually seen the film as well. Um, you also get another little featurette with various hor horror critics um, going over their personal favourite moments from pieces and how they come to watch, how they came to watch it for the first time. And you also get a commentary on here, which I haven't listened to yet. I'll have to make time to do that. And of course, you know, cover art is amazing. You also get the, the uh, standard Arrow goodie, the booklet, the reversible sleeve, and the poster, which is up on the wall, which is uh, really nice. So all in all, you know, one of my personal favourites, you know, it's not stacked with special features, there's nothing amazing about it packaging-wise, but I'm just really pleased with it overall, because it's one of my favourite films, well, one of my, my favourite horror films. It's just uh, great fun, uh, lots of gore, if you haven't seen it, definitely give it a look, it's really good fun. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of any other decent releases that have come out. Um, the Arrow release of Slaughter High, which I know you reviewed and you love this film as well. Uh, this is a really good release. Uh, once again, amazing cover art. One of my favourites from Arrow. And it's got some really interesting special features as well. Got a couple of commentaries, but once again, I haven't seen, I haven't listened to those yet. I have to make time. Um, the Code Red release of um, Nightmare and the Damaged Brain. Another one I've been eagerly awaiting, like so many other horror fans. And finally got it this year. After those many years of waiting for Code Red to release it. And it was a decent release. You know, it was worth the wait. Nice to see it all cleaned up and uncut. You get the option of watching it in uh, three different um, aspects. You know, you've got full frame. And you've got a couple of other widescreen prints. Um, they vary in quality. But um, it's nice to have the option of um, choosing which one you want to watch. And a special feature, you know, once again, some decent ones. Um, but once again, the commentary. I haven't listened to the commentary. I really should get uh, stuck into those, but um, yeah, you've got a couple of decent interviews on there uh, with the special effects guys and the distributors, and there's also another interview, and this is where Code Red messed up, um, they had a very, very long interview with the director, um, but it's all in Italian, they didn't bother to subtitle it, which is really lazy of them, but um, it's nice to have it anyway, so yeah, another favourite release of the year.
for me. So, uh, zombie food. That will be my entry into your contest, mate. Um, hope it's satisfactory. And um, good luck to everybody else that enters. And take care, guys. See ya.